birth and the final dress in the Divine the Presence and that's the day that Imam Ali becomes the Khalifa and the different madhabs also recognize Qadir Qawm on the 18th. So either way Allah wanted the 18th of Zul Hajj for Imam Ali. So even after the passing of Sayyidina Usman of Ghani Jami al Quran al Majeed, that's actually the day that Imam Ali becomes the Khalif. Right? Just you think. <laughs> InshaAllah, Allah will address us from their lives, bless us from their lives. These are the huge realities of the Divine the Presence. By recognizing them, loving them, expands the love within the heart. And these sounds and these vibrations are the only thing that dress us and bless us. The vibration in which we emanate, it raises the reality of the soul and shatters all the difficulties and the badness that the body is continuously trying to put upon the two different realities, the body reality and the soul reality. The body is continuously trying to attach itself like roots and put its roots into the soul and to weigh the soul down, the body by its nature is attached to the ego. So everything of body desire and ego desire, they run together, they are the partners against the Divinely Reality. And what is from us of divinity, from the Divinely Presence is the soul. And so that the soul has a food and the body has a food. The soul's food and soul food is the vibration and the sound in which we try to emanate. So then the power of these recitations, the power of these poetries that were based on immense love for the Divinely Presence. They entered into a state of love and began to write their love story. So by reciting it, we were being dressed by it, by meditating upon it, the soul is entering into that reality. We said that these associations are not for the head. You don't try to listen to the recitation through the head but you're trying to listen through the soul. It means do you really hear it? Hear the vibration, hear the sound and hear the energy and let that energy enter into the ears. From our teaching the ears are the door to the soul, the eyes are the window to the soul. So it means as soon as we open up the ears and let the sound affect us, these vibrations begin to enter into the ear and begin to vibrate with the sound and with the soul. If the soul can achieve and you can relax your, your mental faculty of thinking too much and you can achieve a sense of peace through the sound and that's what we're trying to achieve with the recitations is to enter into a sense of peace. But the problem is, is that this sound begins to come to the head but the ego is going to be inside whispering all sorts of whispers because it doesn't want the power of the sound to enter in. The ego wants to run this body, nothing else. So when these vibrations are coming the ego's benefit is to weaken the soul, it means do actions that weaken the power of the soul because there's going to be a revolution. As soon as you weaken the soul who takes over? Who's the oppressor that comes to take over is the, is the ego. It will completely overtake the body, it has no interest in empowering the soul. When we know the two entities we know their yin and yang, we know their battle. The soul is begging for us that increase my power I will fight it. I will fight the ego, I will fight all its desires but give me power and give me the recitations, breathe and concentrate on the breath, the importance and the power of the breath, the importance of what's being recited so that I can vibrate at a higher frequency and begin the struggle against the ego, the nafs and all the bad desires Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, 
Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.